And we are live. Good evening, buttheads and fornicators. It is Friday. It is the 1st of November. Can you believe it? Another year has just flown by just like that. Two more, with like two months till Christmas. Fucking, what, what is, what is happening? <laughs> what is going on? Why is it like this? We're going to be playing some more Inscription today. I'm going to get this game finished this year. I think we can manage that, I think. I think. What is uh, okay. I'm like looking at who the hell are these people that are on my friends list. You know, I know who that person is. They just change their avatar. Don't you just hate when people change their avatar or something like recognizable about their online presence and you're just like who is that who who is that but hello everyone welcome in squad leader and hello spencer it's good to see you guys hope you are doing well we're gonna go ahead and switch over to the main screen because i think i've timed it fairly well well as well as i could as well as i could with my talents and i'm back out of my costume how's it going <laughs> All right, we are going to continue our game, which should continue my game properly, I hope. I'm very hopeful that it will. This game does weird things. Okay, I'm assuming we need to go here and talk to the robot. Challenge me. Let's see your deck. Weak cards. Total lack of synergy. This pile really doesn't stand a chance against me. Look, I'm trying to finish up my conduit control list here. Hey, welcome in, Jet. It's good to see you, buddy. Hope you're doing well. Let me see that dick. Fucking every time it just reminds me of the fucking um, the New Zealand uh, deck repair commercial. You know the the cork. He's got some. He's got some problems with his dick. The bots they're sending down the line are trash. Get those workers to send me something. Good. Tell them to throw themselves on the line if necessary. And please, have a decent deck by the time you're done. Okay, go on. Can I, let's see what happens when we do a autocomplete now. Still getting those mage pupils. They're very annoying. Because I need, like, a bunch of those to actually do anything with those. Right, going this way, I guess? Okay, can't go that way. Oh, something here. Need another battery here. What's going on here? Oh, okay. Works for me. Oh yeah, we got fucking bombs over Baghdad over here because it's almost fucking fireworks night. It's almost Guy Fawkes night. So everyone's like, yeah, let's uh, let's do all the fireworks. Huh, there we go. Getting up there in Bitcoin. Shouldn't be too long before we pick that game. Pick your seat. Do I still have pick a game on? <laughs> I was like, do we do we still do pick a game here? <laughs> oh no, we do. We do. We do have pick a game. Uh, trader. 
You wish to trade? Leap bot. I think I won't get a leap bot. Alright, so I did your shit. Run through the junk cards and find a card pack. Neat. Cards added to my collection. Alright, what else? Did I lag? Figure out why they're sending me trash bots to scan. Okay, fine. I genuinely don't know how these work. These puzzles are weird. puzzles actually work. I'm just kind of pressing buttons. Okay, so that says free. Okay, so that takes away. confused as to what I'm actually supposed to be doing here. Is that the, yeah. That's free. But that's four. Like I don't I don't get it. I don't I don't understand. Ah, okay, so those matter as well. Not so interesting. What if I do that? Zero. Big fat zero is all around. Very confused by this. I don't get it. So that has to be there in order for that to do that. These can't move. Ah! Hydrate! You got it, Luna. I'm hydrating with tea right now. It's good to see you, by the way, Luna. Hope you're doing well. Okay, so that doesn't seem to have much of an effect, but that does. So does that. So does that. I don't understand. Okay, that doesn't help. Splurge for pizza and wings. Nice. We had uh, we had some classic uh, British poor people food. Tonight for dinner. It was great. 
We had Toad in the Hole, which is... I guess it's like the British equivalent to a corn dog. It's a weird one for sure. It's hard to hard to pin it down. You basically you make um you make like a pancake batter. Aha, uh -huh, two car packs, there we go. Got a thick droid. Thick. Thick. And more techno cards. Mox module. Neat. You're in a fucking whale? Yeah, so, it's, so you take a uh, pancake batter and then um, you like you put it in like a greased pan or like an oiled pan. Now you have my erection. <laughs> yeah, so you put it in like a, the pancake bar in, in a greased pan uh, with, with, uh, it's me, your boy, skinny penis. And uh, you add sausages into the, where's the sperm cell costume? You put sausages into the uh, the batter, and then you bake it in the oven. Although it's good to like partially cook the sausages uh, before you put them in the batter. This is really frustrating. I don't seem to be able to work out this this one. You know what, I'm just going to look up a wall crew because I want the guard packs. Uh, do, do, do. Do, 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 do. It says to do PO3 last. Well, that's uh, that's interesting. Maybe I should do PO3 last. Sounds good. You've heard Dutch Baby. Dutch Baby's good. I mean, Dutch Baby is kind of like the basis. No, it reads, greetings. If you're reading this, it must be because you wish to challenge me in Magnificus to a card battle. But in order to earn that privilege, you must first defeat my free graduate students. As for their whereabouts, that is for you to discover. Sincerely, Magnificus. A strange monocle. He put it on. Aha. Oh, okay. Don't know what's going on there. That is some sort of sigil. Skull wing skull. Oh, that's not. There we go. Oh. Hello. Ah, oh, the pain is unbearable. My, my organs are melting. Do you see? Magnificus turned me into goo for my final exam. I just need to defeat one more challenger, then then I will earn my rightful place. My rightful place in the deck of the master as one of his prized cards. Ah, nothing will stop me. Neat. Squirrel ball moves to a new space. Leaves behind a squirrel. Ah, oh, that's gonna die because everything moved. Well, pretty fucked here. Yep, pretty fucked.
Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, I fucked up, alright? That is on me. Go up there because he's got shit there. Aha, that's good. It actually takes away the power of those if, you, if they haven't got one on the row. That's pretty good. Dutch Baby and Yorkshire Pudding are basically the same thing with variations in the fat used. Yeah, it's, it's pretty much. Spot on there, Jet. Oh, baby, that's what's up. He's got a bunch of shit he can't do anything with. But yeah, the the uh, the regional name for that delicious uh, delicious meal we had today was uh, Toad in the Hole. And typically, you would use like a Cumberland sausage or something like that, like a or a Lincolnshire sausage, you know, a, a good British sausage. I volunteer as tribute. No. <laughs> No, oh, please, please just tell the master I passed. He won't know the difference. Here, take this pack. You received a magical card pack. Neat. Cards are added to your collection. Yeah, I can open the door for you. Rawr. Neat. Wait, what? This is all very confusing. Well, there's something going on here. Dummy stares lifelessly back at you, then suddenly it springs into motion. God fucking damn it, with the fucking fireworks. I get it, alright? I get it. Celebrating what could have been. A creature could attack Force Mage, it does not. Okay. So it does nothing. <laughs> that means hinges creak back into position and returns into its lifeless stare. He says life looks even then it springs in the mo Ah, it's coming again. Okay. Fine. Well, I have a bunch of these mantis cards. There we go. chest over here that I didn't even notice. Inside of the chest is covered in sticky green goo, but you find a card pack. Neat. What is that? The walkers. When the walkers dies, four bones are awarded instead of one. Alright, uh, let's clear that. 
Okay, we got a slightly different makeup of our deck now. Now Dick is made up slightly differently. It's the card collection. Wish to trade. Do I wish to trade? No, not quite yet. I would rather take a pack than whatever else that guy wants to give me. There's also another pack here. I don't actually, I have not looked at what any of these cards are, I just play them. Okay, I get you, I get you. I have to destroy these, like, practice mages, I think. That's that. I need, like, this. Uh, and then it's four sets gone, force. Okay, cool. Let's go pull some wings. Cool. And we get a bunch of foils for doing bullshit, so we're good. Let's go pull swings. Maybe tomorrow's gonna be a Dutch baby breakfast. Nice. Let's go. And wings. Ooh. Hello. Just imagine you're an ice cube. Froggy hat. Thank you, Freedom, for the froggy hat. Slowly melting on a hot pan. Oh. Hey, uh, where are the white women at? Where are the white women at? How's it going, Freedom? It's good to see you, buddy. Oh, I was only talking to myself. The pain of being a head impaled on a spear is... Well, it is worth it, of course. Magnificus will award me the highest honor. I will be the centerpiece of his deck. His dick. He's going to be right in the center of his dick. Lots of fireworks. Take some damage here, but that'll die because there won't be any mocks for it. Ah, son of a bitch. Well, that didn't quite go how I planned it. Oh shit. Explode bot detonates, Jason creatures were killed in the blast. Interesting. Cards do damage. I don't have enough energy to play anything. Okay, that's fine. That one should just die, right? dies because there's no mocks. Do, do, do. Okay. 
am I actually coming down with cold this time? I had one of those where it was like... One puffy pancake with lemon juice and fruit. That sounds delicious. Yeah, I had one of those a little while ago. I thought I was getting a cold. And then all of a sudden it was like, oh yeah, you did, you're not having a cold right now. You, you, you're just kind of not. And I was like, okay, I can live with this. Perhaps I will not be central to his strategy. I apologize for the fucking explosions. Yep. You got fucking five days. Five days. Five days. Can you wait five days? I'm sure I don't. I don't. I can't remember, to be fair. But I don't really remember in the run up to the 4th of July being like this. Like from the first to the fourth. Because that is just fucking ridiculous. I cannot. He can use me as a chump blocker. I have mastered disappointment. Take this pack. We got another pack. Garanger smocks. Can't be sacrificed. Well, Garanger smocks is on the border of fights. Green gem to its owner also. While Garanger smocks is on the border, provides an orange gem to its owner. Interesting. I mean, near, near the res. <clears throat> I don't know. Maybe I'm misremembering. Go. That reads the top sigil was found by the greedy. It reads the bottom sigil was found by the hard of hearing or by those who hear too e easily. Hold on. That reads, the middle sigil is found by the pale. There is also... Chess is empty, save for a single card. The rabbit. Reach back in for more, no sigil where the card used to be. Top sigil is found by the greedy, so that would be that one. The bottom sigil is found by the hard of hearing or by those who hear too easily. Middle sigil is found by the pale. Well, there's something over here. It's very quiet in here. So the top is a blight. Bum is a skull. The middle down by the pale. People lighting up fireworks for Halloween. <laughs> you sure it wasn't the British? It it could have been the British. What does that mean? What does... Fucking ass. Can't lie, you sell fireworks as well. <laughs> Probably the Irish. It was actually the IRA. the middle one is yeah <laughs> corner of the bottom floor maybe well I already cheated but thank you repeater it's always good to see a first person chatter a first time chatter even at last stimulation my test has been sensory deprivation you see to unlock the full potential of my mind you see 
It's unlocked now. Hear me, Magnificus. I am ready. We have to battle, okay? Alright, what do we got here? We got Kami Sacrifice. That's, yeah, okay, cool. I'm gonna throw it down. Amantis. Magnificus. You must focus. Focus. What are you? Gem Fiend. Gem Fiend's owner controls no Mox cards. Gem Fiend par perishes. Neat. Man, these Mantis gods are doing me some good. Alright, what can I play? I don't want to play Mrs. Bomb just yet. I'm playing Insect to Drone. There we go. I mean, Mrs. Bomb probably would have done the job, but Insect to Drone's always nice. That was incredibly stimulating. We we aren't done here, right? I wish to see the light again. To, to sing, to dance. You wouldn't leave, would you? Eh, peace out, homie. Received a magical card pack. Neat. If I open the door, you'll stop by on the way back and let me out, right? Of course. That's got... If I'm going up the left side, I don't want the door that I've just come out of to also be on the left side because I am going to hold down left and then go back on myself almost immediately. Please game devs. Ah, you are here at last. How do my pupils fare? No matter. There are far more concerning issues at hand. Do you understand the canvas that you have been woven into? Nay, you are the brush, and the artist moves you with a terrifying mastery. Penis! <laughs> hey, TK, thank you for the hug. My eye aches with premonition, and I see that your ambition is to take my title. How sad. It will never happen, you see. Even if you defeat me, but I am bound by certain rules. First, we must battle. Ooh, interesting. Behold, the brush of the scribe of magics. My pupils would die to be painted by it, and live forever as a card. But that is not the full extent of its powers. Now, for a bit of color. Neat. Hey, look at this guy. <laughs> this one needs some bleach. Ah, son of a bitch. What does that do? Mox cards on the owner's side of the board game, one power. Tom has played a rabbit screen in your hand. Uh, when Steamboat is played, you draw cards equal to the amount of Mox cards on your side of the board. Well, this should be over pretty quickly. Never become the scribe of magics. I'm sorry. All right, let's uh, see what Auto Complete's got in store for us this time. Got the thick droid. Thick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Teach this, bitch. Behold. A bit of paint now. 
sigil is so colorless. This guy's fucking with my shit. I can take Death Touch. And Monk's Guard's on the other side of the board, gain one pound. Okay, so we don't actually have any monks. I'm going to use Death Touch over here. As soon as I can. that there and now death touch is fucking or maybe it won't uh it just place i didn't i thought it was death touch i am big smart Forty nine spikes again and I lost anyway, because I'm very good at video games. I don't know. What's up here? Nothing. Yet. There's a hole in the wall. There's a tentacle down here. Hey, get back here. Tentacle man. What does this say? Note reads, Dearest Grimora, I believe PO3's plot may go far past the extent of a common power grab. Indeed, this great transcendence will have catastrophic and unpredictable results. The note is incomplete and ends abruptly. I urge you to consider. Yes, I do wish to try again. And I will keep trying again. Let's play the rabbit is great in your head. Okay. Well. So annoying. It's something we have to try and take that out. Oh my god. I'm just getting beat up by this guy. It's just going to give me the same thing every time. Yeah, it will. Hmm. 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 You know, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over, expecting a different result. something good this time. Need to destroy that. Just put that there because I get a rabbit. defending myself here. Hmm. Okay, that sort of helps. But not really.
If I do that there, then at least I can get rid of that, and that will only do one damage next turn. What does that do? Except the drone is played, you draw cards equal to the amount of marks cards on your side of the board. Which at this point in time is none. Alright, we got a rabbit. I do need to get rid of that, ideally. I think I fucked up. Oh, no, no, we're, we're drawn level. That's fine. That still does no damage, so that's good. Put that there. I don't have enough to put that there, but that's fine. We'll put that there and that there. And then we'll do that. At least then we're doing damage to that. But we're also doing damage here. There we go. That's one lot. Hmm, I must be slowing down with age. I may need to set my brush upon my own cards once again. I, what happened? He just kind of stopped. He just stopped caring. That's really weird. I like that that guy is just dancing there. He's just bouncing around, living his best life. Doing his thing very well. Very well indeed, bitch. How do you like me now? How do you like them apples? Very well. We have battled, and now I may speak. You see, my eye, it aches because it remembers. It was ex excised by none other than Leshy, the scribe of beasts. And a beast he is, arrogant, single-minded, obsessed with gaining power. But he is far from the worst scribe to become hegemon. You see, the ejection of my eyeball is far from the worst thing that can happen around here. You must be especially aware of... Battery low again. Oh! Shit's going weird again. Hey, battery fully charged. Cool. All right, we got more from this guy. To whom it may concern. Yeah, you got full. It's a bit formal. Hello there. Hey, I had a hang too. My name is Luke Carter. <laughs> No record. Well, that was weird. I actually didn't do that. <laughs> It's all cursed. Okay. Good enough. Why would you sign it the lucky carder? Alright, cool. Next. 
contractually obliged inscription. Well, it's a bit of a strange video. Um, it's actually more of a question to my audience. As I've learned over the years, what audience? Better than you guys do. So I'm hoping someone can help me out here. Did anyone ever play an inscription video game? This is like one of those um, Mandela effect type. Like it's. It's the ultimate Mandela effect. He's the only person who ever saw it. <laughs> it's weird, guys. <laughs> I've been thinking about doing um I've been thinking about doing streams of games, PC games that I find physical versions of at like cherry shops, thrift thrift stores. I'm kind of like intrigued because I I keep finding like random stuff at, at work. Oh, that was awkward. Hey, Aaron, how's it going? <laughs> what the fuck is zero one zero zero one zero one one zero one zero 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 one zero one zero one zero zero one zero zero? Is this what? Uh, is this the fucking um, the the prayer from from Futurama? I bet someone translated that from binary as well. Mr. Carter. <laughs> well, there you have it. It's got to be returned. Customer happiness department. What the fuck? What the fuck indeed? Alright, we got an error. Nothing there. Alright. I think this woman's actually from Game Funa. She came to my door yesterday and I didn't answer. This time I'm gonna record it. Is she hot? That's weird. She's got a weird face. Her face is weird. Why is her face so weird? Inscription, you said? Yes. She had like a smiley face. His name is Luke. His name is Luke Carter. That's amazing. Oh. Yeah, see, he's on to you, Luke. Listen, uh, how'd you know where I live, exactly? My boss gave me an address. And how did you get past the side gate? It's locked. He phased through it. Um, I'm going to give you my business card. And if you remember anything... And if she you does look kind of like the, uh... She's like, uh, the T-2000. Can I get a shout out in chat for Orange, please? If uh, if I have a mod. What the fuck? If you're not following uh, Imitation Orange, you definitely should be. That catato is uh, is the best catato. Oh, son of a bitch. There we go. Best catato. Also extremely edible, also I hear. <laughs> I 
All right, what's this hey guy got to say? Nerds. I'm the Lucky Carter, and this is another packed opening video. Today I'm opening Secrets uh. Area. Hoping for that. Yeah. Just not the same as playing inscription. Well, okay, nothing on the last one. All right, stop browsing the footage. See your magical card pack. Cool. We got a rare. Another Garanger's Marks. And a Broken Obol. And another Magical Card Pack. Gem Fiend, Dolly's Marks. Okay, cool. He's disappeared. There's, there's really nothing in here, is there? Even though it looks like there should be. There's nothing. Who to funk it? These goddamn fire Ah oh, got that fucking ass. I hate I hate when games do that. Whee. And away we go. Okay, so we should be going after this guy next. You're here. Marvelous. I am Grimora, scribe of the dead. Until quite recently, I was disgraced. Though I was returned to my former glory with the help of some unlikely friends. If you wish to test your skills against me, you must first prove your wits. You must discern which tomb marks the final resting place of my lovely ghouls. Oh no, oh no, do not look upon me. Do not snarl or sniff, I beg you. If you wish to battle, please let us get it over with. You should buy inscription? Yeah, you should buy inscription. It's fucking weird and it's good. And there's not really much better than that in a video game. Weird and good. It's all you need. That's an idea. Mm -hmm. uh, they die after oh okay that's that's interesting they die after attacking still mice reproduces to a new space. It's probably on sale right now as well. Neat. Because I think Steam had a bunch of... Let me just see... It's, it's, uh, well, if it's not on fucking sale, it's fucking super cheap. No, it's 60% off right now, so that would make it about eight bucks, I think. It is over. You chewed me out. Now, please, look away. Turn your eyes to this card back instead. Neat. Got skeleton, dead hand. Ooh. Protect and Revenant Perisher, yeah, all the cool shit. I am called Sawyer. The middle stone marks my grave. Please do not go digging up my bones. I'm Peace of Epitaph. 
Soya Patel, 1702-1778. What am I... Eaten by a hungry dog. Found a piece of an epitaph brought down by scurvy. Gust of foul-smelling air billows from the casket. Oh, hello. You have no offering. No, nope, apparently not. And uh, let's see what the autocomplete brings us this time. So these just open. So through the bones found the car pack. Neat. Guys are out of my collection. It's this guy's problem. Hark, a living slice of lemon approaches and we've got an ad starting soon. So I'm gonna take a quick break and I'll be right back after these short messages.
All right, I am back. Let's get straight back into it, shall we? Straight back in. I should have taken a big sippy while I was on break, but I didn't. A living slice of lemon approaches. Been buying so many re games recently. I wish I could say the same, but I actually have been being pretty responsible. <laughs> Although I say that I did like spend, um, like my girlfriend and I were gonna be going. We we've, we've got like a gig coming up, and we're, oh god, it's it's silly. Oh my god, welcome in Raiders. Holy shit. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, Seely. Thank you for the raid. How was uh how was Minecraft? How was uh let me get the uh I think that's how you Yeah, there we go. Can we get the fancy shout out too? And Thank you for bringing everyone over here. Welcome in, Raiders. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Four Button Soul. If you guys don't know me by now, then world governments were taking way too long to make anime real. So I made myself anime with a little help from a backstreet physician by the name of Truck Sensei. I now live in this uh, slice of life that is basically just my life. How's it going, everyone? It's good to see you all. We are playing some inscription. How's the cards? The cards are carding. The cards are definitely carding. And um, we we just beaten the the mage guy, the magic guy, and now we're beating the deaf guy, and then we're gonna go and beat the the tech guy, yeah. But how was how was the rest of uh, how was the rest of uh, Minecraft? Was it Minecraft? Yeah, Minecraft. How was the rest of Minecraft? I was lurking in there for a little while, and. Uh, yeah, Minecraft's one of those ones where I just, I, I like watching it, but I also hate playing it. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to take a hit there. Ghost ship. Okay, so that literally just drops skeletons off wherever. So that's fun. So fun, super chill stream. Nice to just hang out and chat with everyone. Yeah, I do find that sometimes. Sometimes, you know, you need those no thoughts, head empty games where you can just kind of sit and, and and chat and see how everyone's doing and hang out. My one is uh, Marvel Snap. I will always put Marvel Snap on if I just want to stream, but I don't want to think. <laughs> and usually I don't want to think. That's why we, uh, that's why we stream, right? Alright, so skeletons collapsing, that ghost ship's pissing me off. And let's do that. At least we can claim something back there. Ghost ship's dropping skeletons off. Who's the model on my desk? That is Yumi, uh, from the Senran Kagura series. Yumi is uh, is a top tier waifu. We do we do rate waifus here. So there is we have uh, I have a bit of a penchant for uh, gray haired red eyed waifus. In case you couldn't tell. <laughs> but yeah, I I like me some gray haired uh, red eyed waifus. See, that's what we were looking for. You're gonna take a hit. Skeleton's gonna collapse. And then I'm gonna throw one of these down here. And then we're gonna win this. We have some excess damage. We got a bunch of foils, so we should probably be trading those in at some point. Okay, cool. So this game has less music and more ambient sound, so I usually have my capture card down quite low, so I'm gonna just bump it up a little bit just because there's a lot of ambient sound here. Speaking of waifu rates, you got one in the chamber? Ah, you beat the pulp out of me. Firstly, take ye this. Ooh, uh, card pack. Is this the base game or a mod? This is the base game. 
that is that is how inscription goes like you look at uh, a lot of stuff for inscription and you see the way that it looks and you think oh this must be some kind of weird alteration to the game and because you bested me with ye i'll share me secret my name's royal it eyes the far right tomb here's the headpiece Outpiece map da. Royal Dominguez, 1589, spring 1632. I actually forget what I'm supposed to be doing here, by the way. Found a piece of an epitaph in the casket, hit by a falling piece of ice. Carpac. Cassia or Celia? There be mods? Yeah, there are mods for this, I believe. I'm gonna have to. Do a quick Google here, Yoni, so bear with me two seconds. Oh, we got what? There's a woman in 40k? And a moderately attractive one? Let me pull this up. Let me pull this up for me, Jamie. I'm Jamie. I pull shit up for myself. All right, let's zoom in here, and we're going to go ahead and open this one up on to the display capture from Rogue Trader. Okay, okay. So this is uh, Cassia or Celia. I believe this is official art. Let's see what we've got as far as fan art goes, because fan art is where the best art dwells. That looks good. I'm gonna open that in the new tab, and we're gonna pop that up. Ah, son of a Reddit, you son of a bitch! There we go. Yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Solid waifu. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say four buttons out of five on this one. I'm saying four buttons out of five. Yeah, solid waifu. Good choice. Uh, Gray-haired, red-eyed waifus always rate higher on the on the button scale, so pretty good, pretty good. We're gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna close the display capture. There's a lot of art. She does have a lot of art. I'm gonna close the display capture, and then I'm gonna save this image, and we're gonna add this to the waifu wall of fame. So if you uh, if you are interested in what goes on in the waifu wall of fame and all the other waifus and they are all in the discord so if uh, you hit exclamation point discord we have the waifu wall of fame on the discord which is an excellent like it's just it it grows so fat there are so many waifus this is actually i believe this is yoni you haven't redeemed a, a waifu rate before have you so this is a monumentous monumental occasion uh, that's not rogue that's rouge anyone else ever do that uh, four point uh, four buttons out of five Yeah, anyone else ever do that? Just constantly, you look at like Rogue and Rouge and Rogue and Rouge and you're just like, eh? And you're like, that, I'm sure that says Rogue, but it might say Rouge. What's this skull? I want that skull. I actually forget what I'm doing here. So, out of an epitaph. There was no cure. Oh, what? That was weird. Like I said, my name's Royal. I the far right to... Yar, life didn't give me lemons, so I died. Ah. Scurvy. Just don't read. Rouge the butt. Or rogue the butt. The butt. Butt. Middle stone marks my grave. Do not sniff or snarl. What do I do here? Alright, so 
Soya Patel. And then this is Royal Dominguez. Okay, we can't we can actually walk through here, so that's good. I'm gonna see what this is. Found a piece of an epitaph, does not hold a grudge. Yar. Brr, did someone leave the AC on? Oh, come on, dude. It's freezing in here. This guy sounds weird. But, but, press X to Sean. <laughs> Maybe a heated battle will help. Ah, heated. Yes, of course. All right. Eh, skelly boy, you'll collapse after that. Yeah. What is that? It's a banshee. What is that? A Draugr can't be sacrificed when Draugr perishes. This creature inside is released in its place. Okay. Okay, that's less than ideal. So the Draugr is going to fucking escape. <laughs> Everything's going to explode. It's such a waste. This is just everything explodes. Mm, we got Mole Man. That'll do. Mole Man's good. You bought inscription? Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, inscri inscription's pretty good. I, I, I enjoy it. You know, I, I was kind of looking for something interesting to play over um, over the Halloween period, and, and Inscription is one of those where I was like, I, I'd i been meaning to check this out. I saw Marta play it a little bit, and it was really good. And yeah, it was just like, it was time. Let's make a bold sacrifice here. Skeleton's gonna collapse, and then I guess we'll play that. And then we'll do that, and then we'll win. Yay! A winner is me! Roguelike mode is awesome. I did not know this had a roguelike mode. I am intrigued and also horrified. Because I did enjoy a considerable amount of... Uh, of uh, Slay the Spire. Slay the Spire was so good. You won, but now I'm a bit less cold. Take a pack. On the house. Neat. And bone heap. Bone daddy. You did beat me, so I guess I've got to fess up. The name's K Casey. Casey Hobbs. I'm from the tombstone on the left. What? Wait, Casey Hobbs is on the left? Did I mishear that guy? 70 to 92? Oh, she was only 22. Alright, what's in here? What's what's the deal with this? Pulled up an epitaph. Defibrillator failed. So that's gonna be Casey. For sure. I have a bunch of shinies. Get one of these. Neat. Alright, um, I guess we'll reconfigure our stuff. I'm just using the oil complete. The oil complete is fine. But yeah, the um I played a bunch of Slay of the Spire this year. Uh, eaten by a hungry dog, brought down by scurvy, or hit by a piece of falling ice. She's got a big chunk of ice in her head. Uh, eaten by a hungry dog. Because that guy definitely had scurvy. Hmm, 
I assume defibrillator failed would be there. Because a defibrillator would not have existed any other time. Does not hold a grudge. And there was no cure. Oh yeah, let's go. Marvelous. I believe you have proven your wits adequately. Are you prepared? You will not defeat me. Bitch, I will defeat the fuck out of you. Defeat you, I will defeat and hand you. I will defeat and mouth you. Marvelous, just marvelous. I was beginning to worry I would be sealed away behind those tombstones forever. Locked down at the mercy of a challenger's wits. Until one day discovered. But no, you prevailed. And now it's time to battle. Ooh, she's got a quill. <laughs> My minions never truly die, you know. Looks on you, I like me. <laughs> Terrible, awful. I do not like feet. <laughs> Let's see how you fare. All right. Bone hound. I am not a feat. What is this? Uh, Grown to a more powerful form after one turn on the board. Oh, that's frustrating, but... Needs must. Marvelous, an opportunity to use my quill. Rip Banshee, turn two, jump three, and this one will be back. Mummy Lord, I think I'm gonna lose here. I got any bones? I have got bones. Not great, but play the card with an activated ability. Alas, I shall explain to you its workings. Activated by pressing the sigil like it's a button. But it will only work if you can pay the cost. And he grows stronger. I should have played Bone Heap over there. Big smarts over here. Big, big smarts. This is what you guys come to see. The big brains. Yes, another attempt. I have found with this game that multiple attempts are actually fine. Like it does, it's Because Iron Jesus says that I can take multiple attempts. In this case, Iron Jesus has decided to tell me to go fuck myself. <laughs> Big brain. Iron Jesus was just like, nah, not today. Not today. Alright, let's fucking, yeah, Big Brain is right. I'm so glad we found that fucking soundbite. No one's gonna know what the fuck that's from. And if they do, then that's fucking great. <laughs> yeah, nah, I can't. <laughs> Let's see how I fare indeed. Oof. I guess I can just play that. The bone heap. At least drop something for me. I sacrifice that. I can? Beautiful, beautiful. Alright, the necromancer needs bones. And I don't have them. At least we're getting bombs down here. Yeah, death's never final. Death by explode bot. I 
inscribe this one. There we go. Explode bot's good. Left by accident. <laughs> now that's comedy. I need to do that. I, know, I forget, I need to actually sacrifice things. I believe you're on in the feet with a hidden name like Four Button Soul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But stuff. I don't know, the feet, the feet people are strange. The feet people weird me out. Hold on, hold on. Is that an explode bot? I fucked up. I didn't realize that thing just made skeletons. That also didn't actually help. So. But I can sacrifice that and do that. And then. I can make some skeletons, I guess. Yeah, Mole Man will dig. Mole Man will dig down and, and sort shit out. I guess. Mole Man knows what's up. in my favor. Death by Explode Bot. Let's go. And Mantis God is not adjacent, so we're good. Fuck. <laughs> this, this, yeah. That, that was entirely my own I was hoisted by my own petard. Life, death, life, death. The cycle continues. Yeah, don't I fucking know it. Alright, let's get that over there. <laughs> you all knew that already. Ah, I need more energy. We got energy, bones, all sorts of different things for making sure that we, uh, Yeah. That did not quite work out how I had planned it to. That also is not a good spot for that. Yeah, I've, I've, I've done fucked up here. Yeah, I messed up. I'm dead. I'm dead regardless here, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm done. <laughs> oh my god. The big brain is failing me. Like, part of me is like, uh, maybe I'll just load my deck. Because you can't just put as much as you want in there. You know, it's like, uh, it's like, um, was it Magic or was it Yu-Gi-Oh where they built that, like, huge deck? Like the fucking, I think it was Yu-Gi-Oh. 
Yeah, I think it's Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, the delinquent duo. With the fucking... 60 card, it was a 2,222 card deck with the intent of wasting as much time as possible but shuffling it frequently. That is insanity. Magic the Gathering, uh, you could have huge decks. Magic the Gathering um, doesn't have a hard cap, I don't think. Well, I fucked that up. <laughs> yeah, magic doesn't have a hard cap. But I think there is sort of a, a kind of more of a gentleman's agreement with stuff like that. Dominant specific, you know, by the time I say draw it out, they were putting in rules to prevent that kind of griefing. Yeah. They put shit like that in there on purpose. Like, they put rules like that on purpose because of, you know, we've got 2,222 card deck and we're going to just fuck around. Like that. <laughs> is it com commander decks are supposed to be, like, at least... Uh, magic. There is no maximum deck side. Players may have a sideboard of up to a maximum of 15 cards. Exchange of good. Yeah. 60 card minimum deck size. Man, I am getting absolutely fisted here. The commander is a uh, hundred. Yeah, it's 99 cards in the deck and one commander. More tactical issue. Larger your deck is, the more cards you need to have to make your deck functional. So you can only have four of any given card. Ah, that is where they get the limit. That's how they limit you. They limit you in a different way. They don't, like, strictly limit you. But I haven't... I haven't played a lot of, uh, of MTG. So I, I honestly couldn't say, like, need to, my gain is like way up. <laughs> but yeah, I've, I've been meaning to play more, actually. Tournament decks would run 100 more. That's crazy. Yeah, I have a handful of, well, I have like two um, deck builders toolkits for magic. That I just need to sit down with and, and actually remember how to play stuff. Because I only ever played a little bit with my buddy. Aha. Uh -huh. Just fucking around with your blood hell and making a move. I think I need more, like, squirrels and shit in my deck. I think that might be... Because that will then transcend. Throw that down there. We at least get rid of that then. The Bone Hound is gone and we take two damage back. Which is not. probably not gonna be enough. No, it's not. <laughs> uh, 
you play a lot, so just like the direction uh, Wizards of the Coast is going, so I swore off their projects. No, that is completely understandable. Wizards of the Coast are a really, yeah, weird company with some of their business decisions, and plus the like the rate at which new stuff is being released for MTG is a little bit too quick. So they're like constantly pumping out all this new shit, and then there's like new cards, and then there's like other cards are being taken out of, of, of um, like active lists and stuff, and it's just it's very weird. And I would just like to be able to play a card game that I enjoy. Like I like card games, but I never actually get to play card games. That's my problem. Uh, the problem with four times rule is you get people like you who have old cards that have similar effects with different names. Also that, when you last played Commander's Word of Fame. Uh, rule of thumb is you need eight cards which do the same thing as your core strategy to build a 60 card deck around. I need to get more cards. I like how my little dude looks. We're gonna open some card packs. We're cracking packs, guys. We're cracking packs. And honestly, I would love to fucking play more um, Pokemon. Just because it's, like, really simplified and, and easy to play. Like, I've played Pokemon with my girlfriend, and she enjoys it. Like, it's just a case of actually sitting down and playing it, you know? And actually, like, sitting down and having the time. Yeah, yeah, there is a mobile app for it. Um, the fucking... <laughs> There's my girlfriend. Hello, Emma. How's it going? Yeah, there is a mobile app for it, but the, the, the one thing that keeps people out of Pokemon is the astronomical cost. <laughs> Like, cards are so expensive. That's not a great start. Okay. That's good. We can take that. How's it going, Emma? It's good to see you, babe. I hope you're doing well. Okay, babe. How's stream been? Streams been pretty good. We got a, we got a nice raid from uh, Seely. And um, yeah, we're we're getting through this sort of kind of. We're we're working our way through it. Oh, I've got nothing to sacrifice. That's. Frustrating. Yeah, we're gonna lose. I don't have enough bones for this. I suck. I can. I mean, that's not. Ideal, but because that's still gonna do like free. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> you know what card game you miss playing? Star Wars trading card game? Ah, I didn't even know that was a thing. I think I have some Lord of the Rings trading cards somewhere. Because the Lord of the Rings also had a trading card game. Because they did everything that Star Wars did. Deck was your life your deck was your life points? That's interesting. That actually like 
that brings a whole new, like, you're going to be looking at every time you discard something. You are literally going to be looking at every single time you discard. I don't have enough bones. Need some skellies. Sarcophagus every time, that's what fucks me. Was that when enough creature you own dies, it's returned to life and dies again immediately? Hmm. Well, I'm not gonna do anything with this. Conversely, the cards that regenerate life do so by recycling your graveyard. Ah. Yeah. That's interesting. That's a really interesting way to do stuff like that. I probably shouldn't have done that. Yeah, we're gonna lose. Cool. <laughs> I'm really fucking struggling with this one. Is there any more? Ah, oh, you know what? I haven't uh, satisfied him. I have no offering. Where would be the offering? Solve the puzzle. You must be excited, but please do not bark. Solve the riddle of the tomb. Cheers to ye. Hey, did you know I'm named after one of the developers of Inscription? Pretty cool, huh? Of course. Very cool. And a card in the well, ink is running from the moisture. Drowned Soul. Okay, maybe the Drowned Soul is for this guy. Had name cards of unique meaning. Only one on the table at a time and generic cards that are unlimited. That's interesting as well. Grip a bit from Star Trek TCG. I'm always at, like Star Trek stuff. Like, I think Star Trek stuff is more interesting a lot of the time than Star Wars. Like, I always think that Star Trek is, is way more interesting. Trekkies are, Trekkies are dedicated, man. Like, Trekkies know what's up. And now I'm robot. Now I'm whatever that is. Now I'm even weirder. Everything, this is everything. It's getting weird. It's all very weird. This one. Uh, this one looks like Moa. I also didn't change my deck. <laughs> yeah, we're just like beating our head against a brick wall here. Alright, I got nothing to play. So that's that's a really good start. Yep, that that's that's fantastic. Yep, excellent. Alright, let's see what else it gives me. I think I need some, like, more squirrels and other stuff that, you know, I can sacrifice. Need that. Need the squirrel balls. And then... Oh, it's a salmon? I thought it was a whale. I'm gonna take the grizzly. Times two. And then, uh, yeah. Take a couple of ravens. Those ravens are usually good. I'll take the Bloodhound, because the Bloodhound is usually good. 
And uh, I'll take that guy and that guy. Because, fuck it. Why not? Yes, another attempt. Okay, it's a little bit better. Maybe. Blocks out the sarcophagus. Also blocks out the haters. Aha, you can't jump over there, bitch. Okay, cool. Just blow everything up. Death by Explode Bot. Alright, cool. Start over. Nothing on the board. And I have nothing to play, so that's great. And now you got a bunch of shit up there, because I did the fucking explode ball thing. We're defending from the sarcophagus until we can explode that. Okay, cool. Squirrel Ball is really difficult to get to fucking work in your favor. I have found I'm going to lose again. Okay, cool. I'm really struggling here. Maybe I should... I do all I completely then. No, just pause from wherever. Whatever, man. I just, just, just let me win. Like, <laughs> hmm. I can play that. And I can sacrifice that, put that there, and then go like that. Should have played him there, because then he would have taken two damage. Oh man, that's really close. That would have been like... It's not enough fucking damage, is it? That's very frustrating. Still not enough damage. But that is... Fuck it. You do that. And then do that. 
Oh, in this case, it might be final for you. Because I managed to get two, two Mantis Gods on the board. Because, I mean, really, that's all you need. A couple of Mantis Gods and you're good to go. that down there. Sacrifice that. Got another Mantis God on the board. And that's a bunch of damage. You're halfway there. Though you may not like what comes next. Son of a bitch. Oh fuck is right. Ever watch Farscape? You're goddamn right I watch Farscape. Do you miss them? Fear not, I'll give them back, of course. As corpses. What does that mean? I just fucking play them. Fuck it, I guess. If not, it raises the corpse from the dead, then lets it die once more. Play that, and then that. I probably shouldn't have done that. This is down. Do that. Get a little explodey. It's annoying that the explode bot doesn't just don't mac the kill all of that shit. Oh man. Uh fuck. Just gonna pull a bunch of skeletons. Alright, that'll do it. Zombies down. Bot was killed as well. Elk moved over there, that's fine. Another fleece. Oh my god. <laughs> Another fleece? I know you think it's cold all the time, but... It's neither here nor there. Okay, that can't get any stronger. But that does mean that that's going to destroy that and that. And then that's going to do four damage next turn. So we'll take one damage from that. And we'll play a skeleton and a skeleton, and then we win. There we go. We got two cards left in our fucking deck, and we won. Tell me the other one. You look like a sheep. <laughs> An adorable sheep. 
Oh, oh dear. That's right, I win. You really defeated me. I was not expecting that. I see that it is your ambition to replace Magnificus, but, well, between you and I, there will come an opportunity to change your mind, and I beg that you spare me. Take these, then go. Right, we got some cards. We got Frank and Stein. Now that's pretty funny. And that is the Mummy Lord. And yeah, everything there is good. We got a wolf cub out of that as well. All right, over here. Did I lag? Oh yeah, so we did start doing this one. Who's this robot? What is it? What do you want? Can't you see that I'm very, 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 I'm very busy here. What? PO3 isn't happy with my output, but I'm merely the inspector. To put better bots on the line, I would need to... Just who are you to be carrying orders from PO3? PO3 would only trust someone with some semblance of card game skill. I'm very busy, but I must know if you're qualified to give me orders. I haven't actually changed my deck, which I should have done at the start of this area. But alas, here we are. You send me a picture. You do look like a sheep. Adorable. Right, let's go there. And there. Oh, these. They complete a circuit, but provides no effect. Or block an opposing creature bearing the airborne sigil. Okay. Do I hate it? No, I don't hate it. Mantis gods do actually help a lot. Okay. There we go. Oh dear, your message from PO3 must indeed be genuine. As I mentioned, I am a mere inspector, not an engineer, not a designer. I cannot send new bots down the line, but I, I can send myself... I'm proud to have served PO3 faithfully. Well met, stranger. Is he just gonna... Yep, he, he didn't... He, he fucking self-destructed. A techno card pack. Neat. So how's everyone doing out there tonight? How, how are we all doing? How are we all feeling? It is the weekend. We've got uh, less than two minutes for a ad break, so we are going to take a quick break now. And I will be right back after these short messages.
into the game. That's not what I wanted to do. I didn't want to press that button. Ah, there we are. I want to press that button. Alright, so we open both of these chests. On to the next one. I do need to just have a quick look at the... Uh, maybe this will give me something good. Alright, we got this. Cool. Turns the thing on. Puts the lotion on its skin. I don't know what I did differently. Send help. Okay, so that's... I'm being big-brained right now. There we go. You mean to tell me I have to use all of these fucking things here? Zero. <laughs> Wait, what? What do I own? Oh, a brain. <laughs> ah! brain does work sometimes. Small boy brain. Let me out. Ha 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 What was that? We are, I am the melter. They send me raw materials and I, well, you can see how it works. Not another word out of you. We must have a card battle. The sky appears to be on fire. Um, I guess that, and then wait and see. Factory conduit constructs leap bots in the charred space. Great, and fucking fantastic. There. 
Well. do zero damage anyway, so they're not worth shit. Bone heap's growing stronger. Hmm. Hmm. Head pets, huh? Ah, ah, ah. Uh, thank you for the head pets. Maybe I don't need to do that. Do that instead. There we go. Fucking leap bots. <laughs> oh man, posture check. You got it, babe. Thank you for reminding me I don't suck. Though, in this instance, I may suck. That's got death touch there, so we're good there. Now that does no damage. Nice. Cool. We gained some foils. Froggy hat, yeah. It's my second froggy hat in the stream. Excellent battle. Now, with that aside, what did you come to tell me? Pio free wishes for better pots for his scanner. That is difficult. You see, I melt the metal, but I cannot reprogram the stamping machine. There is a way to send at least one new bot down the line. No, 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 no. Ha ha ha, yes, but P03. Oh shit. My man smelted. He has been smolt. All right, start again, start over. Better puzzles than me? Probably are, to be fair. Puzzles are not my strong suit. Like, I'm not good at puzzles. zero and then we got it how do you like them apples i would also be pretty impressed if you were better at puzzles than me i kid i kid some would be good at puzzle games and stuff i mean I just, puzzle games are not my strong suit to be honest <laughs> I 
There we go. I just move stuff around until it worked. Let's fucking go. Alright, down on the... I guess it's an elevator. Kinda, sorta. What am I looking at here? Oi, mate. I know what you're here for. You're asking me to take a dive. I can't accommodate you, mate. Got special orders, innit? Looking to dredge something special. We can do why. Maybe even give you something if you win. But I can't be taking a dive. P031, I understand. Alright. P03 might understand. Oh, baby. We're gonna go straight in with a fucking mantis god. You know what, mate? Can't take me eyes off me work here. I'll give you this in. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Take your pack. Neat. Now off with you. I need to concentrate. Oi. Is that? P03's gonna reward me big for this one. Off with you. Alright, fair enough. Hold up. That's weird. What is that? That's really weird. Alright, more cards. Give me more cards. Let's go. Gonna quickly clear an auto complete. And we'll see. Yeah, I can't go any further than that here. Yeah. There's a weird card going there. Whee! I'm assuming it'll come up from there. And go through all of the... Go through all the steps. But it's whatever. Alright, what up? The bots haven't got much better. But you battled all of my workers and you actually won. Give me that deck again. Wow, you beat them with that? Alright. Maybe there are some synergies that I missed. Let's go then. Alright. Oh, this is weird. See those conveyor belts? Just like my factory. At the very least, they ought to test your lane positioning. That is weird. Music's good. <laughs> See how that works. Okay, your turn. Hmm. It's pretty interesting. Yeah, so that'll move there, and ultimately that will destroy that. What does that do? That's got death touch, so we can just. No. Hmm. Yeah, this is this is this is very interesting way to build this boss fight. Especially since Mole Man moves around so freely. Mm, 
put that over there. Yeah, I got the old touch of death. But then the Bolt Hound should come down to my side. What is that? Plasma Jimmy? Pay one energy to deal one damage to the creature across from Plasma Jimmy. Hmm, what do Plasma Jimmy? Plasma Jimmy actually has to have something in front of it to do damage. Nice. Okay. That was slightly easier than the last one we fought. Oh, scanner's online. Which card to scan? Just kidding. Obviously the one with the best stats. Stat line could be better. Bolt hound leaps over the block. Oh shit, that's a lot of bolt hounds. You'll move. Another hang? Freaking sweet. Love me a hang. Thing that's worth playing at the moment. It's only that one that's going to do me any damage. It is going to kill my fucking. stuff. I've not got anything that does actual decent damage, but still managed to be him. Oof, nice luck you had. I guess playing a perfect game is no match for good RNG. Nothing like a little RNGesus on your side. I guess you won. Your ambition is to become the scribe of magics. That old hack? You ought to reconsider. Alright, cool. That's added to my collection. Alright, what now? Everything's done. It is time, challenger. Choose the scribe that you will replace. Well, maybe I should replace him. I mean, I did go with the magic one. Technology scribe, let's go. Hey, <laughs> suckers. Oh, you actually picked me? Great. I can skip past the part where they whine at me. Let's get this over with. I've got some big plays to make. You're supposed to battle the scribe that you picked, but like a powered up version for the finale? This is going to be different. just leave this here. I gotta give it to that dredger. Not as useless as I thought. The fuck is that? Ninety-eight? What the fuck is happening? That's the ticket. Oh shit. The 
shit, this thing's going fucking weird. What the fuck is happening? Balance of power. My ears. It's my freaking ears. Oh yeah, I was going to say, that's probably gone through really loud because I had the sound up because everything else has been really quiet. <laughs> All right. I apologize. That game sound up really loud. Oh, shit. Here we are. You done gawking? We can start. Good. This is Botopia. A once great technological paradise. It's ruled over by four, uh, uber bots. That's right. And you gotta get out of there and beat them. Why? To perform the great transcendence, of course. Doesn't matter what that means, you want it, okay? Okay. Get up? No. We've got transcending to do. Okay, cool. So, we're going to save it right there, and I will be back next week with more transcription. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and switch this over to the thanks for watching. We have got to find somebody to raid. Let's see who is live right now. Who do we have live that we can go and bother? Who's doing what? Who's doing what? Mm, ooh, Harry's live. Harry's live and playing Xenogears. Ooh, Bluebird's live, playing Ready or Not. Ooh, nice. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, we haven't raided Bird for a little while, so it'd be nice to go see Bird and see what Bird's up to. Uh, remember, if you're joining us uh, for the raid, to use the top message if you are a subscriber. Uh, the bottom message is for bottoms, as also known as non-subscribers. Um, I will be back on Monday with Marta for some more Elden Ring. We are, we are, what are we, where are we at with that playthrough? We are heading out to the uh, mountaintops of the giants, I believe. So that should be a fun time. But uh, yeah, thank you everyone for tuning in today. I will catch you all, as always, on the flip side. <laughs>